All right, guys, this is uh, Cougar Blue SXR 800 playing uh, Battle of Warships, and we are playing my most despised board when you play with an aircraft carrier, and that's what I always play with. Let's see who we are playing with. I better start getting moving because i got to get away from Let's see where the Scar and Horse is real quick. 9XZ, and he is on the other side, so I don't necessarily want to go that way. So we are going to turn and go that way. Let's see who else we're playing with. A Texas, an Admiral Hipper. All right, well, they're only level 19, so it shouldn't be too tough. Let's see what we can do. We have a Scar and Horse. And uh, Bismarck, if any Germans are out there and you can tell me how to pronounce that, I would appreciate it. But here we go. I'm going to cross over and try to head towards the other side while we start building up sort of torpedoes. Let's take a look and see where they're going. All right, that Scar and Horst is, looks like he's going to come around the, will probably come up straight on that island and probably turn right and go around it. Let's see where everybody else is going. Because he doesn't have, they don't have any aircraft carriers on their side. I'm probably going to try to make it up right behind this island. Oof, first hit. Try to make it up behind this island before I stop and just kind of camp out. I know you all probably hate us aircraft carriers because we stop and camp out. But hey, if there's not enough aircraft carriers playing the game, that's what you're going to get. You don't like it? Put more aircraft carriers into the game. All right. So we're coming up on it, and I think this is going to be a pretty good place to stop. All right. Let's. We got twelve. Twelve shots in the. Twelve planes ready to go, and this guy's not moving, and he hasn't moved the whole time. So let's just put some torpedoes on target. Uh, how many was that? About five. And then I'm going to come and drop a couple bombs on him just to make sure. If he doesn't move, hey, we're going to kill him pretty quick. All right, let's see. What else do we got? Looks like we got a lot of guys going all over the place. Let's see. You wanna, do you all want to watch this? Oh, let's see. Oh, no, no, no. He's going the wrong way. What a bummer. But that's all right. That might be enough damage to kill him. Oh, so close. So close. Let's try one more and drop one more in his target path. That should be enough to kill him. Put him out of his misery. All right. Let's see if we need one more there. One more should kill him if they if our guys don't kill him first. That's good. Wow, I thought this was going to be really one-sided. Looks like this Scar and Horst is coming around the island. And let's see what we can do. Friendly fire, friendly fire. 20 seconds. All right, let's... Oh, no, he's moving. That's not good. He's going to come around that island and try to flank me. Here, let's put this guy... Let's get this guy out of his misery. There we go. That should be enough. i start, I got to start thinking about moving forward. Because that Skavon host is going to come around that island and he's going to light me up as soon as he sees me. Let's see, did we get him? Boom, yes, we killed the Texas. 170,000 damage so far. And let's see what else we can do. All right, I think I'm going to go change islands, my friends. See if we can go around and front jugador. F-G-Y-4-N-Y-S. Jogador. Sorry, I forgot uh, how to pronounce that in Portuguese. Anyways, let's go and chase him around the other side of the island. Let's see if we can lead him a little bit. Oh, he's flying. Let's see what we can do if we can lead him a little bit and see if we can get some torpedo hits on him. If we get a couple torpedo hits on him, he is absolutely going to be dead. But these guys are usually fast and sneaky, so sometimes they're pretty tough to kill. 
got to make sure you have a lot of airplanes ready to rock and roll. If not, you're going to be in some serious hurt because they can just wrap circles around you the whole time while you're trying to hit them. I'm going to use a little bit of a speed increase. Uh, let's see here. Let's get him. Let's see if we can drop a bomb or two on him. Nope, that's not going to work. All right. Oh, see, look, he's doing a fantastic job. Look at him chase me. Look at him chase me. He is just going after me. He's doing a fantastic job, but my secondary cannons are doing a fantastic job as well of beating him up pretty bad. All right, let's see here. Oh, and the Scar and Horse is starting to get into the battle. Let's see, did we get him? Oh, and we got him. Oh, let's get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Don't. Yes. And they missed. Oh, my goodness. So now we are set up pretty. Very, very pretty, my friends. Come back here and hide. And they're going to have to come and chase me down through a hailstorm of torpedo bombers. Here we are. So we got two kills. And we are going after them. Here we go. Here's number one. I think three torpedoes on this guy should definitely do the trick. Uh, hopefully I laid him out far enough ahead of him. And the Scar and Host will be the next target. Let's see. Let's take a look at it. How does it look, guys? Are we going to get him? And he has not moved yet. Oh! And he is almost dead. Yes! Wait a second! Did everybody just see that hit? I totally hit him! That was the last and final straw. That's alright, sometimes it lags a little bit. Let's see if we can do it again. Let's take another look, see if we can lead him enough to pick him off. I think this is... Oh, he's turning, so that's going to be bad for him. He's got two torpedoes that are going to hit him, and that is it. For Tenacho Company, whatever his name is. All right, here's the Scar Horse, Scar and Horst. And what's he thinking? <gasps> Here we go, let's lead him a little bit, see what we can get out of this. I think he's going to turn eventually. So I think by the time these get there, he'll probably have turned. And especially if I put some torpedoes on him. All right, but this should be interesting at the end. Let's see what happens. What happens with these torpedoes? Did we get him with anything? Nope, we are not going to get him with anything. So let's save these up. We have only 70,000 left in... Shall let's see if we can drop a couple of... Uh, of the bombs. Dive bombers on him. Let's see. Are we going to be too too soon no I don't think so I think we're gonna be right on target baby yes two dive bombers guys there we go let's drop another one let's see if we get another one another eight second lead on them let's see here we go dive bombers coming in come on get there no he's not all right I gotta come out of hiding now it's time to go and fight the battle all right, here we go. So, 70,000. What can we do? 70,000. Is he going to be able to get me before I get him? Let's see. Put some dive bombers out there. And, oh, no, P is not going to have enough, I don't think, in the bread basket to get me. Oh, he might. Let's see. Let's hurry in. And he has one interceptor, but that's not going to be enough for all these dive bombers. He is toast, guys. No, he's not. Yes, there we go. Sweet. We did it, guys. 542,000 damage. Almost 543,000 damage. Four kills. Definitely the number one on our team. All right. And take a look at the statistics. 197,000 damage. 33% accuracy with my dive bombers. Uh, damage with my torpedo bomb torpedo bombers, 308,000 with a 37% accuracy. And secondary battery, 82%. Cool, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.